Should you be using Excel or Smartsheet? This is a question that I have struggled with and that you may be struggling with as well. Both tools have strengths and weaknesses, especially in the everyday work environment. This video will help you understand the pros and cons of each and to know which one to use in a given situation. My name is Will Van Musker and I have over 10 years experience in project management. I'd like to review with you how Sparsheet is in first Excel so that you can know how each tool works, the best features of both Smartsheet and Excel, and to know which tool is more effective for the challenge you're working with. Let's get started. Today, we're gonna to go over some of the major questions when it comes to comparing Smartsheet with Excel. Why is Excel easier for many to learn? What situation is best for using Excel? What situation is best for using Smartsheet when comparing the two? And then finally, what can Smartsheet do that Excel can't? And are there features that Excel is able to do that Smartsheet can't as well? We will be exploring this today. The first thing we can review is how are spreadsheets built in both tools? So here, let's compare Smartsheet with Excel. We have both of them open with split screen. And you can see here on the left-hand side that I have a lot of navigation options in the Smartsheet. I'm right now looking at my open sheet and it has open cells just like Excel. But what I can do with them is very different. So in Smartsheet, I'm able to add thousands of rows and they do need to be consistent. So when I create a new sheet, I need to make sure that the columns I have are consistent. I don't want to have a text value here, then a text value here, and so forth. I want these to have a consistency, kind of like a database. I want to make sure that the columns line up. So I keep leveraging this status column. And if I want something with a different type of organization, I make a new sheet that's able to handle that. Now over in Excel, I can get much more custom. In Excel, you see that you have the ability to edit and really make any cell have just tons of different logic. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's an A or D, wherever you put it, you're going to be able to add in those values and it, you can really have quite a diverse set of information there. As you can see here, I have a lot of abilities to customize every cell with fonts and, and with any kind of rich text formatting I want within the cell. In Smartsheet, the entire cell can be formatted like so up here, but that's it. There's not nearly as much power over um, typing in items. So for instance, if I say words is tall, you'll see it automatically runs over into the next line, into the next cell. But if I were to do the same thing in Smartsheet, and maybe I'd have a smaller column like this, I'd been something like is tall. You'll notice it doesn't even show the rest unless I ask it to wrap. When I'm working with columns, I do have to actually expand and contract. But the nice thing about Excel is it tries to be leveraging the real estate right there. So as you can tell when you're starting to work with this, that there's more I can do inside a cell in Excel, but it depends on what I'm doing. So with Excel, if I'm trying to jot down a lot of notes, maybe make some calculations all in the same sheet and tab, then it's going to be very handy for me to just leverage one area. But when I want to start to scale that and I want to bring information together into really like an application experience where I'm going to be taking entries from forms or I'm listing out tasks for people to, to work on that have dates and have you know emails that would come out of that because of, hey, this, this is due on this day and so forth. Smartsheet is going to get far more powerful because Smartsheet is able to handle all those complex scenarios where Excel, even if I were to try to get all that in, it doesn't require me to have any standardization or structure. So I could, I could type in a number right below and it's not going to care. I can type in any kind of values. I can make this a drop down. I can get very custom and Excel will kind of let me just go with it like a sandbox where I kind of put anything in. Now I can force myself to be more specific, like, hey, these columns need to be very specific, but but I have to do that myself as a user, where Smartsheet is going to more keep me in those guardrails to make it clear and concise structure to my sheet. Excel, better for the easy note-taking 
and Sparsheet is better for the more complex structure that you need. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't create different tabs and have them working together. I've, I've taken many solutions from Excel, put them in a Smartsheet where the users had it organized well in Excel. The problem was it needed to be more interactive. It needed to be that the users could actually share and collaborate. So that goes to our next topic, collaboration. When it comes to Excel, you need to send this file to other users and it's difficult for you to really collaborate at the same level and, and make sure that people have specific access. Where Spiresheet is able to get really locked down on collaboration. You can open it up to more users to submit forms. You can share to users where you can actually have a workspace, a whole area that um, is available to those users. And when you add something in, they automatically get shared. You can also do it at the sheet level where it's like you can say that they're a, a viewer, an editor, or even an admin. There's more control on the Smartsheet side on, on who is able to manipulate the data. And then of course, one thing that's really nice is you can see a history. So um, I made this edit right here and I can click view cell history. And I see right here when I comment it on. But in Excel, it's much more difficult to have that kind of information. As you can see, there's really no option for me to dig into what happened to that specific cell. I can't really see that information. Now, I mean, there are logs and there are other ways to do it, so I don't want to go too deep into that right now, but the idea is it's not as convenient and easy to look at. So creating charts and graphs. In Excel, I do have abilities to make pivots, and I can make a pivot chart right here by using the data in my, my sheet. It is able to illustrate quickly and then show me all these different types right here on the sheet. Now a smart sheet, it takes a bit more to get that set up initially. In Smartsheet, you need to make a dashboard that can look at that. So I would actually have to set up a different view by going to a dashboard and then looking in on this data to make a, a chart of sorts. Now, with Smartsheet, there's a specific place where you make charts. There's a specific place where you add all the data entry in. You cannot make a chart on the grid where in Excel, you have far more ability to be able to do that. You can automatically have it recommend items and you can see that right there, you're able to generate a simple graph right on the Excel. So I, again, back to Excel being something easy to do when you're just trying to scrape something together and make a quick visual for it. It's powerful in the way that you can make a fast chart where Smartsheet is more about building a structure that's going to continue to update. So when you're thinking about something that you need to constantly have updated by users and you want that information to be updated as it goes, Smartsheet's gonna be more powerful for that chart feature. But when you wanna set up something quick in Excel, you need something for users to just be able to see right in the moment, hey, I just wanna show what this is. I don't wanna overcomplicate that graph. Excel can do that very quick and fast. So it depends on your use. The more long-term, you're thinking, and the more you want to set this up to be something sustainable, the more you're going to leverage Smartsheet. But when you want something fast and quick, Excel is going to be quicker and more convenient for you to do so. We can make clearly make a chart quicker in Excel than we can in Smartsheet, no question. But will that get maintained and updated as often or in a consistent and standard manner? And that's the question that often does the answer well by Excel. Excel is not nearly as good at structuring a full application solution for a user. So how easy is it to integrate these different tools? Now Smartsheet has an open API for um, five different languages that include Java, C Sharp, Python, Node, JavaScript, and finally Ruby. It is able to be integrated across tools and quick access to the Smartsheet platform. But with Excel, it depends. There's also ways that you can import an Excel in. However, oftentimes with Excel, you do have to consider what you're importing into. Many tools can only really take the first tab of Excel. So when you've built out a very complex setup in your Excel, it's very hard for you to bring all that information through. So if you've set up one tab and you've got all the information right there in that first tab, it's going to be easier for you to bring that into another tool like Smartsheet or or other tools where it just is able to accept that 
set of data like a database. But let's say that you've set up multiple reference sheets and you've really made a complex tool within your Excel file. When you try to import that in, it tends to break it because it's not going to be able to recognize all those relationships nearly as well. Now there are tools out there that are better at picking those up, but oftentimes a lot is lost within translation. So we find that Excel is better for the quick loads of data. And if you want to do something that is larger, where it's like you're connecting multiple pieces, Smartsheet is better for, for doing basically a one-to-one -one relationship. Hey, I want to make sure Smartsheet is talking to Salesforce and Salesforce is automatically updating when something happens. That's easier when you set up in Smartsheet. Whereas Excel, it's more like maybe you'll output Excel, maybe you'll import in Excel, but, but most of the time that is a static document that's getting generated. We don't really see a lot of users having it live where it's updating that file as much because oftentimes it's hard to get the right permission and the right access for users. So it's more often that it's saved some sort of file that the users come in and access save and, and leave modified. So compare to automations. Smartsheet automations are right here up in the top left corner with the sheet. I can make them from template where the templates offer me lots of different um, common scenarios like requesting an update every week or inviting someone on a specific date. Um, I can also get more complex like for example if I want to create an automation that is able to uh, on a daily basis if I want to send um, I see I can set up custom here so I could say you know every day at you know 4 p.m. Pacific I want to send this notification off for a specific field when it's assigned to me, for example, and I can email them, I can generate a document or request an update. There are a lot of items I can do in Smartsheet as well as um, I can actually manipulate the sheet itself and make change a value or, for instance, move information from one sheet to the other as long as I've set up that to be a destination. So there's a lot of powerful automations in Smartsheet. And you can have these running either when you're making changes or someone's making changes on the sheet or to happen on their own automatically. Now, when it comes to Excel, there are definitely some automations you can set up and this is more with macros. So you can set it up so um, you can get a script to just run. And, um, and I would say that this is more complex. Like if you're wanting to go, okay, I wanted to do steps A, B, C, and D. Every time a person clicks this, it automatically does this. I will say that in Excel, that can get complex fast. So there are a lot of great tools out there to help you see how to make a good script in Excel and knowing Visual Basic. But the challenge with it is that it can get very complicated and it's gonna be in this file where um, it's harder for other users to be able to assist and help. Oftentimes when I work with people using Excel a lot, there will be one admin that's really good and they've built everything out and then the rest of the team doesn't really know what they were doing. They don't understand how the macros work and they're kind of like, oh, we always have to ask that person to help us fix it if it's broken or anything like that. With Swiresheet, you'll find that it's much more user-friendly. It's built more for the common user. And so it's easy for you to set up steps in a Smartsheet. Now, I will say that the automations in Smartsheet are not as powerful as they, are, they can be in the macros in Excel because Excel has so much more available for you to do come into terms of manipulating the sheet and manipulating your tabs in the Excel file. So there's more potential with the macros, but it's, it's a bigger, steeper learning curve for a lot of your users. What are the overall advantages and disadvantages to Excel? The overall advantage that you have is that users have been learning Excel for a long time. So most users we work with have been learning Excel since they were in high school and then also in college. So it was easy for them to pick it up and just keep advancing their skill set in Excel. It also, it is easy to make quick changes in. You need to make a chart fast. You're going to be able to do that in Excel. If you need to do a lot of specific editing and making the format really ideal for this view and for a specific table you want, it's going to be easiest in Excel because Excel has so many options available to you. And there are a lot of additional features that we didn't have time to go over, like when how far you can go with reports, you can create reports from Excel and, and have really powerful views with pivot tables as well. And those features are in Smartsheet as well, but they're not as easy to make as they are in this 
an Excel version. Now, the disadvantage to Excel is that oftentimes it can get really confusing when a user sets up a complex set of features in their file. So we will see users that make really complex macros plus formulas inside their Excels, and it's very difficult for a, another user to follow what they did because the way Excel set up with really the references being A through C and so forth, it's difficult for a user to really understand the logic where in Smartsheet you can label your columns very specifically and with a idea in mind. So it's it's easier for someone in Smartsheet to understand what you were trying to do and the logic you use to build your formula or your specific views. With Excel, we also have trouble with converting it to other systems. That is a challenge that a lot of times we get when we're trying to move Excel over. We typically have to look at it piece by piece, understand it, and then slowly rebuild it in another tool. When I've helped users move data from Excel into other tools like Smartsheet, it's always been a big learning curve to understand what's being done in Excel. What are the advantages and disadvantages to Smartsheet? Smartsheet is a very user-friendly tool especially for when you haven't really been using a lot of different applications and you just want to try to get used to it. It is familiar like Excel in a lot of ways, but then with automations and some of the more advanced features, it is easier for users to learn because there's not as many options available. Swarshi definitely has an advantage of being easier for users to learn, especially if they're just starting out and building an automation or really needing to set up some sort of email or anything like that through the tool. A disadvantage for Smartsheet, especially compared to Excel, is the Smartsheet forces a more database-like structure. So you need to have column formulas, you need to use formulas on specific columns, and you can't have data from cell to cell if it's different types of structure, because what happens is Smartsheet relies on you building out a standard structure. Now, this is great when you're working on an application, but if you're trying to build something short and small, it can be kind of annoying because it, you won't be able to put everything where you want to if you're just trying to group it all together in one little place. In conclusion, Excel is great for the quick reports, quick views, and when you're just trying to, in a pinch, build something out for someone to see it and talk through, Excel can be great for that. Now, Smartsheet is gonna be more powerful when you want to look at a long-term solution for a problem and you want to have multiple collaborators. Smartsheet is definitely better at being able to have a specific controlled workflow for many users to use and to show information from. It is not going to be as fast to set up as Excel, but once it is set up, it's going to be more rigid and more reliable. Let me know in the comments which program is more helpful for your needs. If it ended up being Smartsheet, please click the link here to see more. We go through Control Center and dive deep into Smartsheet's features and functionality.